After clinching a playoff berth last weekend, the Toreros are back on the road for the final game of the regular season. With a win against Campbell this weekend, they'll clinch the PFL outright, and then they'll be back home to start practicing for the playoffs for the second time in USD history. So you're going to the playoffs for the first time in your career at USD. How does that feel? You know, it feels great. Uh, we're actually looking forward to Campbell this week more than playoffs. Uh, you got to keep our minds focused on Campbell this week. So, but we're excited. You have to win the last game in order to be the champion. Should we falter, I would think if my math ma mathematics is right, that we could wind up co-champions. And I don't think that's what we want to do. We, we stuck in the back door last year on Dayton as co-champions when they went down to Drake and failed to win the last game. So I'm trying to keep the guys focused because the goal has been all year to win every game in the PFL, which has been very difficult. I think it's been 10 years or more since someone's done that, and we'd like to be the next team that does it. Can you talk about how the O-line's been performing this year? You know what, uh, we're a young O-line, but we've been doing pretty well this year. Um, we're inexperienced, but we still have room to get better, and we try to do that every day. Can you talk about what Daniel Cooney has brought to the offensive line this year? Well, I think Cooney has done a fabulous job. Uh, he has uh, spent three years here with us, and he has molded himself into a much better athlete and a much better football player. It's been uh, to all his credit. We've had nothing to do with it. He has dropped his weight. He's worked on his flexibility. He's been hard in the weight room. He studies. And I think we are been, we've been very fortunate to have him here and watch him grow into uh, what we think is real fine right tackle. All right, so Coach was just named a finalist, uh, top 15 finalist for the Eddie Robinson Coach of the Year Award. Do you have anything to say to him? You know, uh, Coach Lindsay, he's a great coach. He puts us to work every day, and that's why who we are. We hit, we're physical, and he puts us through that every day. So that's to Coach Lindsay. Do you think the team's a little distracted by the fact that they're, they know they're going to the playoffs? Well, I certainly hope not, and they shouldn't be because uh, that was one of the goals, but this other goal was before that one, and uh, we uh, wanted to win the PFL outright and then go to the playoffs. So they're still unfinished business, and uh, I'm not going to let it slide until we get it done. Can you talk about what you have to expect going into the playoffs? Um, you know what? We're looking forward to wherever we go. We'll find out next Sunday, but uh, we're excited. I mean, we want to get a win. That's definitely what we want to do.